Hey there guys. Today we're going to learn how to make these really cool uh, stretchy little fidget toys. Uh, this is the smallest version you're going to be able to make today which was out of just two strips which I'll explain in just a short minute. Uh, so this is the smallest version. You can make huge ones. You can turn them into different things. The bigger they get the wigglier they get too which is really fun. Uh, you can change the shapes by kind of rotating them. They look almost like a scrunchie. But it's a really cool technique to turn some flat artwork into something 3D and really fun. So the materials you'll need today are up to you, a lot of them. You will have to have a pair of scissors, some glue, although today I'm going to be using a stapler because I don't have any glue here at home apparently. Uh, I've just got staplers and tape. And of course, to color, it is your choice of materials. I have some pens here that I'm going to be using. I also have colored pencils, little twistables. And I have some Sharpies, which I might use, mostly this one because it's dried up. Uh, and probably not the dark one because it's nice and juicy. And as you guys might know, a lot of times Sharpie, even with cool designs, is going to come through to the back and you might be able to see the bleed through at the back there but we'll figure that one out when we get to it now what i'm going to provide for you guys is a sheet of paper that has some lines uh, drawn across it already each set of two of these strips is going to be able to make this length of our toy now, of course, to decorate it, we're going to get to draw on it however we want. You can add different patterns there, so either different shapes. So I'm just doing sort of uh, square, diamond, square, diamond, although they're not looking too good. I could definitely up my craftsmanship here by drawing them a little bit nicer. I could also color those in. And of course, when you guys are doing this, I'm hoping you're taking a lot better uh, time management with yours than I am but of course I would much rather you have more art time and less watch Ms. Z color shapes and time but you could do patterns you could take your materials and just kind of go free and wild across it if you would like to that's up to you there's a lot of purple in here but you guys probably remember that's my favorite color even though I haven't been to school in a little bit uh, here we go now I kind of love this sharpie because it's actually really kind of dusty and used up so I can get a light coloring of it. If I had crayons here at home then it would be a lot easier to do this. I can like I said some like kind of wild and free crazy shapes across multiple ones. It doesn't have to be anything but the designs that you do are going to show up on each side of the toy when it's finished. So if you've got one full side covered, and I'm just going to do some little loopy loops over here, you can go ahead and flip it onto the back. Like I said, there you go. You can see all that Sharpie coming through, even when the printer ink isn't. And let's see. Hmm. I'm going to take the blue. Just do one that's kind of crazy. Swirling all around it. Now, of course, we always want good craftsmanship, but feel free to explore with the materials for today because it's not so much about the craftsmanship of coloring as it is going to be the pattern that you're going to use to create your toy when it's finished. And there we go, close enough. So once you have your stuff done, we're going to cut our strips out. Now mine printed a little crooked, but that's okay. We want to make sure that we have strips in sets of two. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the best I can in the middle of the line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see I'm really keeping my scissors straight and I'm not moving this wrist. I'm just sliding and cutting as I go up. Now it'll take you guys longer with your smaller scissors. I'm blessed with these big adult scissors at home, thank heavens. Alrighty. Now if you want to get really crazy with it, you can cut quite a few. Cut all of them out if you want. And we can make it into one crazy long piece. 
I'm just going to cut out these two, four, let's go for six. Because once you get this pattern, it's so easy. Now I'm going to take my little scrap, which I could still use for two pieces, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to set it aside. Now I'm going to pick two that I like. I've got three mostly black ones here and three colorful ones. So I'm going to pick one colorful one and one of the black ones just to start with. We're going to stick them next to each other. And now we're going to make a giant letter L, an uppercase L. We're not going to take the L because we're following directions. You want to stick them together as best as you can with just a dot of glue, or if you use uh, the glue sticks, that'll be even faster. But of course, since I have neither, I'm going to make my big letter L and just give a little staple on there. Now, a staple is probably the hardest way to do this, so I do not recommend it. I have my wonderful pieces, and now I'm going to flip it over. You can see that this piece is on top, so I'm going to take the one underneath and fold it over, making sure that it lines up on the side, and press down. Now the red one is underneath, so I'm going to fold that right across, trying to line up my edges, and press. The purple's underneath now, so I'm going to fold it over and press. Now the black's underneath, fold it over and press. So you can see that we just take the bottom one, fold it over, making sure to try and line it up as best as we can so we don't goof it up too much. It's kind of hard to mess this up as long as you're keeping it mostly straight. But so I just keep folding that, whoopsies, that bottom one over to the top. And I keep on going. Now, of course, it's going to make a pretty small one to start with if you're only using two strips. And since we're getting to the end, I'm going to show you how to add it on to continue and make it even longer if you want. It is super easy. Here we go. We've just got two little bits here. Uh, we're almost done, but I want to make it longer. So I'm going to try and find some that match. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to overlap it a little bit here. Let's see. Mm, do I have any? There we go. A nice black one that continues, but is blue on this side. And of course, you can use your glue. I got to use my stapler, which is not very precise. And reattach. This one's got, oh, well, that's got purple. So let's go purple here. And on the back is red. So there we go. Luckily, since those lines are there, they should be about the same size. Ooh, that one wasn't very good. I'm just going to kind of pull that into place. All right, same story. Take the one underneath, fold it over. Take the one underneath, fold it over. One underneath goes, folds on over. One under goes over and to the other side. Uh-oh, my staple's in the perfectly wrong spot, so that's going to be a little weird later on, but that's okay. Just keep folding, just keep folding, just keep folding, folding, folding. What do we do? We fold. Now, I'm not going to add a third one on there because you're going to get bored. And heck, I'm kind of getting bored of showing you because I figure you already have mastered this. And you understand that you take the one underneath, you fold it over the one on top, and you just alternate over and over and over and over and over again until you get bored or tired or, heck, run out of strips. Who knows? That is up to you. I'm just about done. And when I finish, I'm going to end up with like a funky amount at the end. It's not going to be perfect. Although, actually, maybe it might be. Whoa! And a low. Almost perfect. Now, if I didn't like how that ended, and I had some extra, after I glue this little spot here, or unfortunately, in my case, staple it, all right, I am going to just take my scissors and trim the excess off. And what we have next is our awesome, pullable apart, wiggly jiggly uh, toy. You can do whatever you want with this. Maybe it's something like a bridge. 
you could make a lot of it and wrap it around and turn it into a bracelet. It could be jewelry. It could be the body for some kind of crazy animal. It's up to you with how you want to either play with this the way it is or turn it into something completely new. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy, have some fun, and I will see you next week.